Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan! For it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. The final temptation of Jesus is one that frankly always seemed like a literary flourish, something out of a novel rather than steeped in reality. However, seeing the events of January 6, 2021, when the Capitol building was breached by a mob of citizens, 140 police officers injured and two killed, members of Congress threatened into hiding and the subsequent denial to call it an insurrection but rather a legitimate form of protest has altered that perspective. The approach of the devil in the text is raw. In exchange for your loyalty, I will give you wealth and power. Seeing the lengths that people will go to secure their political position and the coarseness of their grab for wealth and power is troubling, deeply troubling. To see that people are willing to trade their integrity for a fleeting few moments of political position ought to disturb the soul. Jesus' response is without equivocation or hesitancy. He calls the devil by name, not description, Satan. Away with you, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Jesus, firmly in no uncertain terms, dismisses Satan. There are some offers you cannot entertain. There are some lines not to be crossed. Some principles cannot be compromised. Some conversations are not to be initiated. In this reflective, meditative time of Lent is the opportunity to renew and reaffirm those critical boundaries so that at the time of our testing we can be just as firm in our worship, service, and loyalty to God. Those that have ears, let them hear. Almighty and everlasting God, mercifully look upon our infirmities and all our dangers and necessities. Stretch forth your right hand to help and defend us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.